Hi, Andrea. Good afternoon. Hello, Massimo. Hello, everybody. Thank you for attending to this GMI webinar. We'll just wait another few seconds and people are still connecting. Today, there will be a lot of people, hopefully, because uh, we had a lot of registration and probably a lot of questions also after the world. Okay. So let's wait another few seconds if, you, if you're okay. We have a lot of uh, attendees connected to, to us uh, for the, yes. the webinar today. Yeah, from different countries also, not only Europe, but I see people from uh, Asia, and uh, which is really probably late in the night, and the people also from uh, South America, which is good. Okay, so we can start anyhow. This, this is the time for, say, just for introducing uh, the webinar, which is uh, ESD and foreign gas application, C3 smart relays, extending to the PLC diagnostic along the whole loop. This is very specific. Uh, first of all, if you have any questions, just uh, write on uh, Q and R button and then write uh, your question over there because the chat box is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, forbidden. Disabled. Uh, let's talk about ourselves. Myself is Andras Plor. I'm a global account manager within GMI organization and responsible for a major account. And uh, I was also responsible for European market. And um, I say background is in uh, automation and then also functional safety engineer. That is with me, Massimo Pagani who is our product manager and also responsible for um, the um, technical uh, assistance, uh, technical support at the GMI. He's also functional safety engineer, has a very long experience in, uh, let's say, use. Thank you. We are going to, say, introduce, uh, first of all, our company first, let's say, it's a very short description of our company we design okay sorry for any trouble let's start from here probably okay Andrew. okay so and just to be back to the our company we produce in our facility in milan we have a complete traceability for uh, incoming uh, components and outgoing products. Uh, we test all uh, products in, in uh, our factory. And also we provide five years warranty and 10 years of guarantee availability for all products. Uh, some words about uh, the um, certification. We do have a complete certification for uh, all markets in uh, critical applications. So we have a certification for Europe, for uh, America, for uh, uh, country like uh, China and uh, Japan and uh, India. And also we have a systematic capability certification for the SEAL certified product. And uh, this is summarized about what we do. We do basically safe uh, barriers or isolators, CO3 safety relays, SEAL uh, isolators, uh, safety power supplies, SEAL power supplies, multiplexers, Termination board for DCSM and uh, users, heart multiplexer, surge protection indicators, and also we provide cybersecurity, uh, functional safety, and the e EX trainings. This is a little bit about our customers all over the world, divided by system vendors, ATC, OEMs, and, and the users. But now we go through the we try to recover the, the last time. So here we divide this uh, presentation through chapters. There is a first chapter for safety smart relay concept. And uh, this is uh, the first slide that is the maximum term. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Let's start uh, examining those that are a fundamental part uh, of a CIS. Let's talk about uh, safety relay. 
CFT relay can stop or initiate a movement in a controlled, safe manner by opening, closing valves, start, stop motor, and so on. They must conform and adhere to the ESC 61500 and the industrial standard. And uh, not only in oil and gas or process industry, but in general, a safety relay can be used uh, where a failure of a relay can cause serious accident to human environment assets and uh, or image. So, but uh, what are the typical cases where a safety relay is required? Well, typically we must use a safety relay in all those applications where the controller, the digital output card of a PLC, is enabled to activate a field device due to its limited potential in relation to the voltage and current involved. Or in those applications where multiple contacts for the simultaneous activation of multiple load is required. Or again, in those applications where the safety function that uh, the controller must perform needs to be inverted. But uh, what is the difference from a standard to a safety relay? Andrea, I leave it uh, to you to explain this part. Okay, so let's say that uh, um, there are big differences in uh, safety relays uh, if you compare with the standard relay. So say that uh, a C relay is a device with a known guarantee ability to perform a given safety function. So there is, uh, and uh, of course, an FMEDA calculation. Probably you are familiar with that uh, acronym which is determine what is the probability of failure on demand for that uh, devices. So basically, the safety relay is uh, as I've made in place, so, and uh, that is not uh, uh, possible for standard relay. So, and uh, the safety function probably is uh, uh, open. The function is open a relief valve or activated fire extinguisher system. So you wanna open or close or activate something or start a stop a motor when there is a demand for safety. So let's make some example. So for SD or, or EPS or BMS, the normal function is a normally energized, so any. So you want to de-energize in case of safety DTS. Uh, for fire and gas, the function is exactly the opposite. So the normally energized in case of necessity you want to energize to safety. Here there is a specific, uh, um, say, diagram for one of relays where we, uh, say we have example where the, um, the relays, uh, uh, how the relays are used in case of uh, uh, safety. So on the below part, the, there is the connection for energized to trip safety application. So, there are three relays in parallel, which, uh, of course, in case of safety, one of the uh, three relays can close the circuit or, or we close the circuit, but at least uh, one of three. And uh, when there is a, the function de energized to safety, the three relays are connecting in, uh, in uh, series uh, and determine, of course, the, uh, say the opening of the circuit in case of failure. Massimo? Yes, Massimo? well, uh, but uh, what are the smart relay? The smart relay is, uh, is a relay that guarantees a specific safety function, like a typically safety relay, but uh, in addition, it has the ability to perform a complete field diagnostics. For complete diagnostic, we mean uh, a diagnostic that includes complete constantly monitor of line and load functions in both operating condition of the relay, on and off status. In fact, the diagnostic of uh, a smart relay is able to monitor the functional parameters of the field devices and the line. 
both to know in real time the health status of the loop in the condition of load energization and uh, as a predictive function to know whether in the event of a request for interpretation, the field devices in the field will activate correctly. This is a very important, especially in fire and gas system. And uh, we can say that uh, smart relay combine the best functionality of the safety relay with a complete line and load diagnostic. But uh, why going for smart relay? Nowadays, full diagnostics uh, is typically required along the full loop. However, many widespread systems do not support diagnostic inside their digital output cards. Smart relay make diagnostic available to systems that uh, do not support it. In other case, many modern systems do support digital output diagnostic. However, in many applications, they cannot directly drive the load because they are voltage and current limited, typically no more than uh, 500 milliamp at uh, 24 volt DC. Or uh, when the load, valve, beacon, sounder, etc., require more than 24 volts and or more than 500 milliamps, relay are necessary. And yet, when you use standard relay, the digital output diagnostic dies at the relay coil and cannot reach the load in the field. As opposite to that, smart relay can go beyond the typical voltage currently system limitation while keeping the full load diagnostics. Even if modern systems can perform load diagnostic, their capabilities may be limited. For instance, air leakage monitor may not be supported or extreme loads, for example, big loads, may always be reported as an open circuit to the system. Smart Relay may offer a solution to extend the digital output diagnostic capability. In the next slide, uh, we will see two different safety functions coexist inside smart relays. The first and also the main function consists in the input to output or coil to contact activation deactivation. This is the typical function of a safety relay, which upon request is able to drive a load applied uh, to, its, to it in a safe state. The second one is the diagnostic function. It provides full measures, voltage, current, resistance, air leakage of the load also through Modbus protocol. And uh, it can activate or deactivate to full dry contents. The smart relay is equipped with uh, full relay and uh, any anomalies can be acquired through the Modbus protocol. And again, the smart relay is also available for installation in a Zardus area to be precise in zone two, division two. We can also say that uh, the main function called CONTA is certified seal free, while the diagnosis is certified seal two. Well, Andrea, I think we have uh, the first poll for our attendee. Yes. So we can go to the first poll if you want an answer to this. Uh, Relays uh, question. Thank you for answering. Your information are really precious to us. And uh, what really type do you use on your safety application just to know what is your say um, origin if you are using safety ray or not. If you want to use, if you are looking for new features for safety relays. Maybe you can provide or not. There are always something that is not possible. You know, we cannot uh, say answer all, uh, all, all things, uh, uh, all questions. Yes, right, Massimo. Yes. There are a lot of questions that sometimes we cannot, uh, <laughs> we cannot yes. answer. That's normal. We are, but we are also uh, say willing to 
to find uh, the new solution. And that's why these information are very important for us. Okay, thank you for answering. We wanna stop in a few seconds. So please uh, type your answer, otherwise we, will, we cannot do it. Okay, I'm gonna stop now, thank you. Okay, we can go to the next slide. So, uh, we we have shown in the first few slide where there were let's say, different relays connecting series in parallel depending on the functions. What we did at the GMI, we we had another idea. So we connected different the relays inside. So inside every single relay, there is not only one relay, but there are more. In this case, four relays. And uh, we call it matrix relays. So there are two relays in parallel and then connected with the load and then, then with other two relays in parallel. That is uh, very important um, from our point of view. And now we try to explain why it's very important probably also for you. So all of uh, four relays are connected and directly uh, driven through the coil. So the coil, when it's activated, will activate it simultaneously all the four relays. But uh, we see that this, func this uh, solution is very important because uh, it's a universal solution for normally energized and normally energized load. In both cases, is uh, interesting. This increased the availability and the fault tolerance. So it's also possible to connect uh, in uh, um, bipolar isolation with the load for operator safety. So you can disconnect, uh, you have disconnected, you can be to disconnect the load on both uh, uh, lines. We want to say that this is very interesting because we achieve uh, the C3 certification, C3 safety. So uh, it means that uh, um, this condition, uh, in this condition, relay fault is not sufficient to create a dangerous condition. So there is a very, very important uh, uh, thing. So if I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna have, uh, I'm having this energized situation, one relay that will be disconnected by fault is not compromising the safety function. And also is uh, very interesting in terms of availability. The availability is not uh, directly connected to the safety uh, because it is not, uh, is not counted, is not measured in the, in the safety parameters, but it's very interesting because uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, your customer uh, doesn't want to stop his production because of a single fault uh, of uh, one relay. So we want to say that uh, this kind of matrix uh, also is interesting in terms of availability because uh, a single relay fault is not sufficient to activate the, the spool strip of the load. So you are gonna, um, I'm, uh, I make an example, you are producing, you are, your load is okay, you are uh, working in a proper condition, you don't have in critical situation. And if a one of the four relays is connected, is having a fault, this is not compromising the uh, safety function or the normal operation, operation. So the special connection will save from this point of view. Also, on the smart relays, you, we provided the pulse testing. Um, so the, the relays are, have a special circuit inside the coil that are say, immune for the pulse testing. So probably on your PLC DCS, there is this continuous testing, which is testing the output. And basically, when the load is connected directly to your DO, um, this is measuring the, say, um, the health of the circuit, but if you put a uh, relays inside and and uh, this is uh, gonna stop direct to the relay coil, and maybe if you don't you don't have this kind of uh, pass testing uh, uh, immunity of uh, let's say um, compatibility on your relays, that is uh, uh, damaging the coil. So inside the, our relays, uh, there is uh, this kind of uh, Compatibility filter 
that is uh, filtering completely the past testing uh, and is not damaging or flickering your load. Massimo, I think it's yours. Yeah. Yes, let's see now specifically how the relay can communicate uh, with the system. Smart Relay can report the field status to the system in several ways. The first one is uh, with uh, two full contacts, can be acquired by a system digital input card. This is the typical way which implies the use of uh, DCS with the dedicated digital input card, where the status of a contact called a fault is monitored by the system. The second method, if the system digital output card driving the smart relay support pulse testing, the fault in the field can even be mirrored directly to the digital output card of the PLC without the need of an additional digital input card for this purpose. And uh, again, complete diagnostic information can be retrieved through Modbus multi-drop RS485 protocol if a Modbus master is available on the system side. Uh, through the Modbus protocol, the relay can be constantly monitored and also configured remotely. And, uh, and again, the fault on bus can also be acquired by a system digital input card. The fault on bus is normally used when a cumulative report from many modules is required. Well, Andrea, it's your turn uh, for uh, the next slide. Okay. Um, so, Massimo explained the, the importance of using safety relay with the smart relays with the diagnostic. And now we are going to say, explain the taste what is uh, this uh, uh, purpose. So, uh, C3, we are, our relays are C3, two certified. We have a solution for, uh, um, for firing gas application normally energized, both. Okay, so the D1596, 96S, dash 100, or D5294S. And then we have also a solution with the phase inversion for the same fair gas anomaly energized applications. And on those relays, you can also, of course, uh, uh, say you can have the diagnostic inside. And we also we have some example later on. But basically, we can monitor the voltage current uh, on the load, the load resistance that is a patented from uh, Gemini, the leakage from the load to work, the coil integrity. So we are able uh, to monitor also the single coil of the single relays. So we can monitor the internal fault. And also, we support the Modbus RTU communication. So the uh, relays also um, say have uh, al uh, alarms capability. So do two fold relays through both bus or mod bus. They also are compatible as we have seen with the uh, past testing from the DO card. They also are of course, uh, uh, Mm, compatible with the fault mirroring to the DO card. Basically, on all system, you can mirror the fault. We can mirror the fault from the relay directly on your DO without the, the need of using an additional D card, DI card. The contact rate is a four, four amps and 250 volts. So, installation for zone two. Universal mounting in the rail, power bus, and also termination boards, and complete isolation between input, output, and power supply isolation. I have this kind of uh, um, map where we can you can see what is possible on different uh, relays. The last two, of course, the most uh, complete with all possibility, also the load to hurt leakage internal integrity. Uh, monitoring. Why the first two are a little bit limited, but uh, in the easily you can choose what is necessary for you by 
uh, reading this kind of uh, map. Now we want to go through the real presentation of the application, which is, I think, most interesting for you. So in fire and gas application, we want to show you what is uh, possible uh, by using our release. Massimo, I think it's your turn now. OK. Let's see how Smart Relay can uh, help us uh, and how it works in uh, a fire and gas application. First of all, we can say that uh, internally, a GMI Smart Relay is uh, composed of a matrix of contents, which allow us to have high reliability and high availability to the process. This FT relay is in fact uh, still free certified, both for application with normally de-energized load, our fire and gas system to be clear, and for application with normally energized load, ESD type application, which uh, we will see later in this presentation. But uh, let's see it uh, specifically. The load applied to the relay, in this case, a beacon, for example, is uh, off in normal condition and the relay contacts are open. When uh, at uh, the request of the safety PLC, the load must intervene to signal the dangerous event, uh, the relay closes its contact through them, it supplies power to the beacon, which gives the alert signal. A typical fire and gas application involving GMI's uh, D5294S Mar relay is the following in the next slide. The D5294S monitors the line, the power supply and the load, in this case a sounder, under normal condition. For example, when uh, switched off. By doing so, it uh, ensures that if requested by the PLC, the loop will work correctly. This type of uh, relay can be configured via software or via Modbus for specific diagnostic value. When switch, switched off, it's, it's able to monitor the impedance of the load, the power supply to the load, and uh, is able to auto-check the coils of its internal electromechanical relays. It's also able to provide uh, two fault contacts toward the uh, DCS system dedicated to the purpose, or it has the possibility of mirroring any fault detected in the field directly on the diagnosed PLC card. This function called fault mirroring is compatible with different types uh, of digital output card of the most common PLC system and allows the considerable saving in terms of uh, engineering cost as it allows the non-use of a DCS system dedicated to the acquisition of a fault. Let's see how it works. Uh, the, relay, the relay monitors the loop and if it detects a malfunction of the load or its power supply, it immediately reports it uh, to the PLC through the mirroring function or to a dedicated DCS system by closing two full concepts. This is called uh, predictive diagnostics, fundamental in fire and gas system to ensure that uh, the loop will work when there is a real need. The smart relay in, um, in this case, through its uh, diagnostic functions, all of the PLC system to extend its loop monitoring capabilities up to the load. For this reason, and many others, the smart relay is a fundamental tool in a, in a fire and gas loop. Furthermore, this type of relay can communicate and can be programmed via Modbus with all the advantages that this communication protocol can give. In the next slide, we introduce what is the relay programming software, which allows us to have total control over the functional parameters of the load and the voltage applied to it. As previously said, in condition of relay off, 
it can monitor the impedance of the load, the power supply voltage of the later, and the health of uh, the internal e electromechanical relays. These relays also allow us to set the window of values within which uh, the diagnose variables must fall in order not to generate a fault. In fact, for example, we can set a minimum and maximum value for the load power supply outside of which the relay will signal an anomaly to the system. The typical example may be that represented by the short circuit on our load caused by a malfunction of the winding inside the beacon. The relay, by monitoring the impedance of the beacon's input circuit, we read and an anomalous value outside the window of value considered valid during relay programming, and we signal a fault to the system. This fault signal uh, will occur through the closure of two fault contacts to be acquired through a dedicated DCS system. A relay will light up on the front of the relay. With the programming software, it's also possible to monitor in real time what happened in the loop. Any fault will be underlined by a red indication and will uh, warn us that the monitor value has gone out of normal operational activity. The D5294S is also able to monitor any leakage between the load and her. This particular feature is part of uh, the predictive diagnostic perspective for uh, a fire and gas system. This data provides us uh, with particular information on the health of the load, informing us if a possible air leakage can be harmful to our application. Also in this case, the configuration software provides us with important information on the state of all of F health of uh, the load, monitoring the impedance value that the load has towards the ground. In case of fault detected, the relay communicates the fault occurred to the system to allow us to act promptly on the problem and solve it. Some uh, old PLC system work uh, with uh, inverted logic always supplying energization to the relay. For this reason, we need a relay that uh, reverses the safety function of the SIS to bring our fire and gas system uh, to safety. Also in this case, the GMI smart relay help us by giving complete diagnostic coverage to the loop and helping the PLC to reverse the safety function. In this case, the D5295S model maintained the functions of the model presented previously and change, but uh, give us the possibility of inverting the safety function using normally closed contacts. In fact, under normal operating condition, the load will be normally energized Therefore, for a uh, fire and gas load, the PLC system must have a normally energized logic so that uh, the relay can reverse the function on the load. In this way, the relay contacts will be open during normal loop activity. At uh, the request of the PLC, the relay will be de-energized and the contact will close energizing the load, which will provide the alarm signal. Also for this type of relay, thanks to the content method technique, we, be, we will obtain high process availability and high level of safety, seal free certified. Also for this relay, the diagnostic function remains unchanged. In fact, uh, with a view to predictive diagnostic, we will be able to monitor the state of the load and its supply voltage. When the relay is energized, that is when uh, its contacts are open and consequently the load de-energized. In this way, 
we will be able to monitor the impedance value of the load to verify its state of health over time. In case of uh, anomalous variation of the load input circuit, the relay will signal the change to the safety system declaring a fault. Fault which, um, as we have seen previously, can be signaled in different ways through the mirroring function, through the full counter to be dedicated a specific acquisition system, or even through MODBUS. The type of uh, relay seen up to now for file and gas application are also widely used for emergency shutdown application. In fact, uh, thanks to the content metrics, this uh, type of relay are able to perform a certified free safety level and high process availability even for this type of application. But uh, how does a relay work in an emergency shutdown application? Well, the relay in this case is that uh, device which at the request of the safety PLC or DCS must ensure the de-energization of its load and bring it to a safe state. Typically, we are talking about a shutdown valve, which must interrupt the flow of the dangerous fluid to bring the system to safety. In this case, we are talking about an application that involves a typically energized relay which in turn works in normal condition with its contact close and energizes the shutdown valve, which in turn allows the, pass the passage of the dangerous fluid. Also in this case, the use of a smart relay is important to monitor the health of the valve. It's necessary to know in advance any problem that uh, could arise in the event of a request from the safety system if the valve, should, uh, is the valve should have any problems. The smart relay guarantees complete diagnostic of the load and of the line so associated with it, even in the condition of energized relay. In this condition, the smart relay constantly monitors the power supply voltage of the valve and the current that uh, circulates uh, in the coil of the later. In this way, it's possible to monitor every slightest variation in the state of all of the relay load the loop. And also in this case, in this case, the smart relay helps and extend the diagnostic capability of the, of the safety system. As previously mentioned, even for normally energized load. Thanks to the counter metrics, the D5294S smart relay provides a availability to, pro to the process. In fact, the failure of one of the contacts inside the metric is not sufficient to generate a, a malfunction of the relay, which maintains its functions and changes all also for this uh, eventuality. Even uh, for these types of uh, application, the configuration software signal any load malfunction by reading the variables related to the load itself. The signal it takes place on the monitor, underline uh, the cause of the default in red, or with the types of communication seen previously. Another particular application involving smart relay with normally energized load is uh, that uh, related to valve with dual coils. In this specific case, since uh, each coil is sufficient to activate the valve, the two coils avoid the false interventation in the event of a single coil opening to increasing availability. In this context, the D5294S can detect the opening of the single valve coil. Through the configurator, configurator software and by specifically setting the diagnostic value of the current flow into the into coils, it's possible for uh, the smart relay to detect if uh, one of the two coils is interrupted. 
In fact, if one of the two coils is interrupted, the current circulating in the loop is held and the value read by the relay leaves the window of set value signaling a fault. Fault that uh, also in this case can be signaled to the safety system in a different way. One of these is the mirroring of the fault, which communicates the problem with the load directly to the digital output card of the safety system. Uh, this is possible through a variation in the impedance of the input, input circuit of the smart relay. This functionality has uh, been tested with some of the most popular safety PLC on the market and found to be fully compatible. Well, Andrea, I leave you time for some words on uh, Modbus and compatibility with our devices. Yes, Massimo, thank you. We do have another uh, poll. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah, first. Sorry. And uh, if you want to answer what safety feature do you consider as relevant, we have seen different of that. Probably some of them are very really, are really important, some other not. We offer also Modbus uh, output on some relays, whereas, of course, if you are using PLC with the Modbus capability, Modbus uh, master port, you can um, connect with it. And then we, we going to also tell a little bit more about this feature. But also fault mirroring is something interesting because uh, it, it avoids any need of uh, additional uh, digital input card for connecting the fault contact. So there are different features. And uh, let's leave another few seconds to you for answering. And then we go to the next slide. In the meantime, you made a lot of questions. We try to answer through our uh, chat box, uh, Q&R box. Anyhow, we'll, uh, we'll uh, leave our, our account if you want to send uh, your request through email. Maybe this time is not sufficient for you and for us. OK, I'm going to stop this. Lisa? OK, good. I'm stopping. Thank you. I want to share with you the result today. So it's uh, what is, uh, we see that the fault mirror is very, very interesting. I can understand. And those alarm contact out and the pass compatibility won't pass out the configurable transfer. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, uh, introduce a little bit what is the last chapter for the, and then and the conclusion of the today webinar. So the mode bus uh, multi-drop network, we have seen that a few relays have this capability. It means that uh, and especially specifically two relays, the D5294S, the D5295S support the mode bus communication. That is a very nice feature because um, we have seen that we can have different uh, uh, fold, uh, like a short open circuit power supply, earth leakage and um, coil integrity. And in case of one of those fault, basic on the other relays, you can have the mirroring on the DO, or you can have fault contact. But through Modbus, specifically, you can have really an information of what happens, specifically what kind of fault you're going to have on that relay. So it's not a generic information, it's a specific information. So in this case, you can connect uh, up to 127 modules on the same line uh, to the same master unit. And by simple two wire, you can uh, exchange all information uh, about the relays and also the fault. This is a very nice feature. If you can implement it, uh, save a lot on the wiring and uh, information, the logic and so on. The benefits is a uh, one mode bus interface for all connected relays, mm -hmm. multi drop connection, communication up to 1200 meters, no need of system BI card for alarm monitoring, and information, as I said, about the relay full type, short, open, or call, etc. While alarm can just advise about the generic fault condition. 
So we're gonna say finish this presentation and we're gonna have some conclusion and uh, specifically this part probably is interesting for you. What, uh, where you can use these relays on the, what type of system you can use this. We can assure you that we have a complete uh, uh, test and approval from uh, Schneider Electric for uh, Tricon, Tricon CX, uh, Foxborough system, and then the latest is a uh, Modicon uh, M580S. Also for Yokogawa, we do have the, um, the test and the approval for the ProSafe and the Center. MVP. Honeywell, safety manager, who's a specific CIO, and also tested but not approved the, for the expiron. Emerson, Delta Vilata VCs, ABB 800, HEMA, IMAX, and Rockwell Advance. If you have any other PLC you want to test, you can test, you can help on your own application. But of course, these uh, I think uh, are the most used in uh, uh, the process application. We're going to say uh, resume what they are the important ones uh, as a yes. strength, as a let's say, point. Yes, we try to summarize what we have discussed in today's presentation and why it is important uh, for you. First of all, the, the, the universal solution, which allows us uh, to extend the limits of the system digital output card for the compatibility of all the loads applied to it and in all uh, relay condition. You've seen that there is a really improved diagnostic level. So the fault uh, we are talking about, uh, let's say, um, application that low demand. So basically, your load stays all time off if it's normally uh, de energized all time on. But uh, in any case, uh, they say if you want to have, you want to say, uh, reach your safer uh, states on demand and uh, less than once a year, that is the, the typical application. You want to say, be sure that your load will uh, say, will be activated or deactivated on demand. In this case, uh, the fault must be, let's say, reported previously to your system. So any short open power supply, fault, ground leak, whatever, is uh, very important uh, for uh, your uh, safety application. And uh, high process availability and fault uh, tolerance for the prevention of spurious trips with the content matrix GMI smart relay, which uh, allow more resilient solution that uh, prevent the system from, uh, from downtime. Uh, since certification with a lifetime of 20 years. So we have uh, relays that uh, would enter seal free certification for different years, for three, four, eight years, up to eight years, seal three. If you want to use an seal two application, this can be extended up to the lifetime basically of the device because seal two is very long in our devices. Um, can stand in the seal two application for a very long time. And lifetime is uh, up to 20 years, which is a very, very interesting time. And uh, an important uh, feature of our uh, smart relay, the transparency of the field fault through the mirroring functionality of uh, our uh, barriers or smart relay allow significant savings in terms of installation and wiring cost. So cost reduction, I have seen that uh, the special the mirroring uh, or let's say the mod bus uh, eliminated the, the, the need of the DI card for, for, for the position, so reducing hardware wiring and simplifying completely the engineering. And uh, great uh, flexibility with the uh, GMI solution, which allow you to manage all types of loads and field condition 
in smaller spaces. The mode-based interface monitoring of the load for the condition for improved troubleshooting and uh, continuous data acquisition is very, very interesting features. Not common in the market, but um, say more, we see that more and more, let's say, uh, engineers use this kind of solution. And uh, the possibility with our relays to manage uh, types of loads connected both uh, in uh, unipolar and bipolar way guaranteeing field diagnostics where required. This solution allows great saving in terms of uh, installation cost. We grant also inter interoperability and safety, really, uh, thanks to the certification test and reference we did, uh, we are doing, and we will do in the future on all kinds of possible systems. So we reach uh, the end, uh, probably we have uh, some question Massimo to answer because we see that uh, people wrote but they have no time to answer all the questions. Maybe we yes. can mention some of that. Yes. Okay. Uh, the first is, can I understand that uh, for laser user for C3, yes, the fire gas application, of course, uh, we can use this, yes, right. Uh, all the relays can be used, uh, we have seen uh, on the, the application can be used in, uh, in the C3 and the fire gas application. The second question, are you gonna share the presentation with the participant? Uh, um, this presentation is not uh, shared, but uh, let's say is, uh, the webinar is, uh, is stored. It, uh, and you can, uh, uh, you can review this uh, presentation through our YouTube channel. Uh, can you share reliability data for all safety relays for our calculation purpose? Uh, uh, of course, those are information are if you go on, on our website, Mass Right. Yes, in, can... uh, in the safety manual of the our device, it's possible to to found uh, all data requested. Yeah, especially for safe calculation for all uh, data you may need for your safe calculation. Yes. There is another one, probably, another two. Yeah. I didn't understand. Apart the digital output from the PLC, SD, it's required at 24 volt DC for the diagnostic. Yes, for, uh, for our uh, smart relay, it's uh, mandatory to, to give a uh, 24 volt DC of power supply for the diagnostic functionality. And uh, the last, uh, are these relays compatible with uh, ES solenoids? Uh, I want uh, to remember that uh, the smart relay are uh, available for, uh, um, to drive uh, uh, all kind of uh, loads and uh, speci uh, spe especially for uh, NIS application but uh, in uh, more cases, uh, uh, our relay is available to drive uh, EXT loads, uh, our uh, beacons or uh, sounders or other devices. Yeah, for IS, I want to say that for IS, we have a dedicated uh, IS barriers with yes. uh, for uh, driving the IS as so well. Last question, do you have an Amur car C3 certified? Yes, we do have it. Yes, yes. Yeah, we, have, we have it in our portfolio. This is not the part of this presentation, but we have in our portfolio. We have a lot of C3 uh, device uh, compatible with the uh, Namur standard. Okay, thank you. We have uh, reached the, the end. We try to say, uh, remind you that we have a lot of other webinars that you can, where you can uh, attend. So just look at our specific pages. You can find our webinars uh, um, that we did and also the link to view all the uh, webinar, past webinars so on our YouTube channel. So for other topics as well. We wanna remind you also, okay, 
uh, we have the last call just to yeah you can write what you like don't worry that is uh, complete uh, anonymous so you can write what you like and this is a what is a very important also for us for uh, say improve our uh, sessions thank you to thank you to all of you you want you want to write thank you thank you thank you <laughs> we thank you thank you too <laughs> okay thank you we want to finish here our thank you very much thank you to all our attendees we stop here and uh, now we want to just remind you our say name emails and the face if you want to write us uh, any further question you will be really welcome thank you again and uh, keep in touch and don't uh, lose any uh, G next gmi webinar thank you massimo thank you andrea thank you all and uh, see you the keep next safe. webinar thank you bye-bye